Got some busted blazer repairs to do. A hunk of garbage like this ain't going to go 200 miles without having to fix it. Now I know it's got one bad ball joint, a bad U-joint, and the leaf springs are M-shaped. I'll have to see what else shows up. This bumper got all busted up. Probably didn't help coming off the trailer. I if we can just rip it off. Oh, she got on there good. Thank you. The bumper keeps hanging up. We'll just rip it off. A little better approach angle that way. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> 80 on the DA for the D chrome process. The bed line that stuff too. I've spent eight years on and off worrying about getting this Camaro perfect. It is so nice to not care about perfection. <laughs> These were at about 34 inches before I did the gambler, so it sags an inch and a half. Okay, so this thing didn't fit worth balls in the front or the back, but a little bit of work with the angle grinder, and now we'll be good. We don't need bump stops. Now it's mint. Okay, now it's mint. Now if I'm remembering my leaf spring geometry correctly, um, I mean it's been a little while since Camaro ran. like. <clears throat> nine years but I'm pretty sure more spring right in the front of the ling of uh, uh, the front of the leaf spring than the rear is supposed to help with axle wrap and this thing wheel hops like crazy so maybe it won't anymore hey, hey perfect just like I calculated or something every time I work on this thing not too bad not too good. That thing won't even turn. Jesus. It's not the standard way to take out U-joints, but this is what I got at the moment. Old garbage out. Move garbage in. Click. Click. What do we have here? 25 bucks, not 30. Hell yeah. What do you think, Wave? Is that a good deal? What a deal, Papa.
number one tool for rusty stuff. The ball joint's all in. That went pretty easy. Uh, that part we're going to ignore. But uh, I'm, I'm impressed this one didn't kill us all. That could have been the end of uh, me, Lauren, and Bob. <laughs> well, this idea worked until it didn't. Uh, but I might be able to make it work with a smaller exhaust bolt. Focus. Uh, this was a two inch, if I go like one and three quarter. So it was a little bit too wide for the whole spacing here. So I just put it in the, uh, put it in the vise, clamped it down a little bit until it came through, but it was just pinching harder and harder and harder and snapped them right off. But a one and three quarter might work for that. That way I don't have to mess around with welding anything. That'll just be my studs for the skid plate. That's a big help, kiddo. Wow. Wow. Since the skid plate, the carbon fibre one, is screwed up in a few places. There, there. I'm going to use the stock uh, plastic one, sandwich it underneath the carbon fibre one. That way it should be in good shape. I thought about taking this. There. I thought about taking this uh, other one here. I'd have to cut it here a little bit, cut it here a little bit, and that would fill the gap between the stock skid plate and the bottom part of the bumper I ripped off. Kind of stick it right in here. That still wouldn't be a horrible idea, but uh, I think sandwiching, doubling up the other skid plate, it's going to be a better idea than uh, sticking one up there that may not even need. That was pretty mint, actually. Doubled up skid plates. Should be super strong for the next time I drop it on a jack. Let's hope not. Oh, and I put a 5 16 J nut in here rather than that stupid quarter turn deal. Gotta help get some strength back to this. And this part, this sort of hits on the... Uh, the other skid plate in here, I cut access. You can kind of see both of them there. But when you stick it in, it tightens everything up real nice, so I'm sure it actually makes it stronger once that goes in. Oh, hell yeah. Way more solid than it was. That's gonna work mint. Had an old piece of MDF laying around. So 23 and a half by 6 is perfect to fill between the skid plate and the bottom part of the bumper. And I can stick my custom plate and then my New York plate over here um, tied into the frame here, tied into the skid plate there, frame over there underneath the plate. I think that'll work pretty good. Nice. Total cost, zero dollar. Just how I like it. Looks good too. Is it just me? Or does that ball joint look fuckered too? That was good now. And now I gotta do that one, I think. So I bought a pair of ball joints uh, since the other one was bad and I start replacing this one thinking ah I don't feel any slop in it oh maybe that's why it's sitting funny that's not good uh oh Ooh. <laughs> yeah that's gonna take some work